Hello and welcome back to your favorite podcast, The Golden Nugget Podcast. I'm your host and your best friend, Anna Golden, joined by a few of your other best friends, Enoch. Nice to meet you. And, wow, introduction to a best friend. Glad Glad to be here. And Kayla. Hey, guys. And Phil and Carl are obviously present here in spirit. Guys, I think I have Phil's hair (laughs) on my mouth. Sorry about that. (laughs) Okay. Guys, it's been it's been a tough day for Phil. Yeah, he he got the big chop, and not a haircut. <laughs> got his manhood the taken from him. Big chop is so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, he if you're first time listening, Phil is one of our cats. It's crazy if that would be a person. I'm so sorry. That sounds crazy. Um, but he is our cat, our newest cat, and he um he got neutered today. And we, here's, here's the facts, okay? If we're going to take him to his normal vet. If you're a pet owner, I love, because I said this, I talked about being a pet owner last week, and I had some people messaging us. Thank you for that. Mm-hmm. And um, if you're a pet owner, you know that, like, going to the vet is highway robbery. Enoch is now a newer pet owner, because mm-hmm. you had pets growing up. Yeah. But you've never had to take, like, pay for a vet bill. Right. Yeah. Also, I'm aware how wide it is to pay to go the ends of the earth to pay a wet, to pay a vet bill, <laughs> but your parents pay. F- I that's why I was like I can't speak because the way we those dogs are everything. Yeah. To them. So They're okay. Everything to them. I feel like culturally they say it's like that's so white. It's not always like, but Enoch was like, I'm gonna take him. He took Phil to the vet last week because he was just like not feeling too good. So he takes him and he texts me. I'm at the church and he's like, oh, my gosh, this is so expensive. I'm thinking through the lens of a vet bill being expensive. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, this is about to be four thousand dollars. Like, it's so (gasps) expensive in another world. But a vet bill being so expensive is like, you know, when you go to the vet, you're paying two hundred dollars. Like minimum terrible. Two to three hundred dollars. They looked at him for maybe 20 minutes, Mm -hmm. gave him some fiber prebiotics called it a day i did not expect to pay 260 so, <laughs> so, 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 so he like, texts me I can 260 and i'm like <sighs> i was like thank god <laughs> i was like that's like a that's a normal Highway robbery it's crazy like i i know that we've been probed to think that that's okay yeah that's not okay not in this economy yeah i mean Sorry. oh my gosh well then it was like okay well we need to get him neutered it's go like ahead and set up a neuter so enoch is like okay he's gonna get neutered next week and she's already making me feel bad for thinking that that was Inexpe- expensive. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm you're like, right. I'm so mind blown. <laughs> that I'm so trying to wrap my head around Inte- it. Expensive. <laughs> yeah, I'm d- expensive. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> you guys are literally watching me trying to gather myself. Guys, meanwhile, Carl out the window, Cirque du Olay, he just jumped into the planter. Oh. I hate that, actually. Cirque du Olay? Fleas are back. Cirque du Olay, that's how you say it. I thought it was Cirque du Soleil. Listen, I've never even heard of that word. Now, you've, you've added a new word. Cirque I used to thought it was it Cirque du Soleil. I thought it was Cirque du Soleil. Okay, well, maybe one he of us. He did a front flip. One of us is wrong. Go ahead. He's <laughs> doing a front flip. He did a front flip into, <laughs> like, the, Carl, into the plant bed, and he'll probably have fleas by Tuesday. He's laying down in that plant bed. Oh, uh, oh, I, I know he does this to bother me. I think we should stop and go get him. That's so crazy. <laughs> There's so much in that. He's okay. He has his flea treatment on. No, that's never enough. That wasn't enough Guys, last time. Maybe we should grab him. This is a new Go. this is a Cut new number brand. One. <laughs> Cut number this one. This is a new brand. He's okay. You guys, he's okay. You anyway, say this every time. And then okay. he gets fleas. I promise he's okay. He gets anyway, fleas. Carl gets uh, Carl's allergic to fleas and somehow he attracts them. So so this is back to the vet. We go. Carl has to get his shot in his muscle. And you know what? Now I small I can s- like slightly empathize with people who are like embarrassed when their kids are bad. Like there was nothing growing up that was worse to my mom than when we were like bad. She had like a signal that it was like <laughs> yep. you're embarrassing me. Mm-hmm. And Carl bites the vet, scratches him. We have three people in there. One's putting a towel over his head. Someone else is holding him down. Carl, and I'm like, that's so such a Carl thing. It's so, so embarrassing. Dramatic. It's literally it's like, and you're all, he's never done this. <laughs> Carl's a bad cat. Carl's but it's bad. like they're vets. They know that like animals are going to act but, out. And here's right. the thing. The same thing. But he's a little celebrity in there. Like they're like, oh, Carl, Carl. He's so cute. He's such a rare breed. He gets in there. I'm like, buckle up. 
Mm-hmm. Buckle up. He's about, he's to, about to put you through. He's that celebrity you never want to meet. <laughs> so it's like, don't meet your heroes. It'll disappoint you. Don't but your anyway, okay, so we have... He's loving that planter. Anyway, we have uh, Phil gets set up for his new door. I'm like, call and see how much this is. It was like $400. If you've ever had to get a cat or fix before, like the Humane Society will do it for like 15 bucks. That's where Carl went. It's great. They mm-hmm. provide these services. I was like, cancel it. So today, you guys. Look who's out. Phil just got, okay, now we actually do have to cut. Phil That's so crazy. just got out of his cone and out of his cage. How did he get out? <laughs> <laughs> this is so crazy. I think Carl's going to the bathroom in that bed. All right, we're back. Phil broke out of his prison. Phil got out of his cage and his cone inside of the cage, which is crazy. That Very was so wild. He just darted off. I know. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, escape plan? <sighs> Literally he escaped. Because they have to wear a cone. But they have invented these things, so they're like little onesies they can wear that helps them not lick their like sutures or whatever. But anyway, he went to Humane Society today. Enoch said he saw a dog fight in the lobby. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's tough out there. First <laughs> of all, there are like 40 people in the waiting room at 7 a.m. Well, yeah, and I mean, his. How much did we pay? Thirty dollars. We paid thirty bucks. That's, that's affordable health care. You know what I mean? We need that. We need that affordable <laughs> cat health care. <laughs> anyway, but he compared to two sixty for some prebiotics. No, three six. Oh, that. Yeah. Well, that it's like you never know when they're actually sick, so mm-hmm. you never know what's gonna go on. So it's like, I say this, but if I got in there and they were like. It's going to be $10,000 to save him. I'm like, do you guys have a financing plan? <laughs> You're like, save him. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm I would have been, like, been like, well, I'm going to rehome him. See if somebody else wants to do it. And if not, then he's going to the shelter. But that we, could be cruel. But the also little like, vet I'm that broke. we go to is pretty bougie, I guess. And um, they said one day the kind of cat that, ca- that Carl is, he's like a pretty fancy little guy. Scottish Fold, they said someone brought a Scottish Fold in there and were like, he meows through the night. Can you put him down? They wanted to put him down because he Sad. meows at night. Uh, and then they were like, yes. And then they walked him back there and one of the employees kept him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I wow. thought they were going to steal Phil the other day, so... They were giving that vibe. <laughs> oh my god! They're like, you want to put them down? That's it's just like, cat what? people for you. That's cat people. No, the you weirdest of weird. Yeah. Sorry, all it's true for sure. Cat people are great. Anyway, all that to say, that all was that to that's say, been yeah. his that's manhood got taken today. That's been our day. And and other news, and that is our pet segment for today. <laughs> I'm like that one every week. I said <laughs> yeah. today my dream would be if Carl sat in a chair and like kept his little headphones on and had a mic. Like, that would be so funny to me. My humor <laughs> my humor goes baseline when it gets to Carl. Like Yeah, it doesn't take much. It's out the window. Anything Carl does, she's like, it is oh not my gosh, do you guys see that? He's so perfect. He's so cute. Or she's dying laughing. It doesn't guys, take much at if all. If you're like, if you made a joke that like Carl said something, I'm on the ground. <laughs> and I like to think that I have a pretty like elevated sense of humor. I'm pretty witty, intelligent. Mm-hmm. But when it's like, yeah, I just talked to Carl. I'm like, ah, <laughs> it's, so getting, it's getting Carl has been loving my cup when I come over here. <laughs> yeah, his down. little sim. <laughs> and she's like, oh, Carl's like, can I take a sip? Cracks herself up. <laughs> like she's I like on the ground. And I'm like, yeah, of Carl, like grabbing a, like an actual tumbler and putting his mouth on the <laughs> straw. <laughs> because I used to live my friend Kara. Shout out to Kara. Um, I say shout outs like anybody I know listens to this podcast. I don't even think any of my immediate family knows I have a podcast besides my parents. Very true. I could give a shout out to them. Hopefully trying to get them on the podcast later this week, but we'll dive into that later. (coughs) Anyway. um, Why did you clear your throat on the mic? (laughs) Because it's just like, it's a tough situation. Um, But anyway, all that to say, um, Kara, we convinced her, me and my sister convinced her that my cat Vern um, shout out to her. <laughs> so the way you just I'm, like, I'm shout acting, out. I'm <laughs> acting like I'm doing an acceptance speech. Right now. <laughs> shout out to her. Shout out to St. Louis. Anyway, um, I convinced her fully that Vern would drink out of a straw, so she would like. 
of him with the straw and be like, come on. Anyway, I thought that was funny. That's good. Got me good. But you know what? If you're laughing, it's a win. Okay? Stop trying to make other people laugh and get yourself good. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's the golden nugget for today. That's called schizophrenic. (laughs) I'm fully convinced that I could be by myself and have a good time forever. Wow. Like, yeah. You know what? I actually saw Sabrina Carpenter. She was on a an interview, I think, in her hometown. Who's uh, that? Sabrina Carpenter. It's an Enoch, artist. Don't even, oh, okay. don't even say that. He's I literally, literally capping right I'm now. I'm from the other no, room. I heard you watching a video from her concert. I'm stepping in place for those that have no idea. That's all I'm um, doing. She's like a mainstream please, pop artist please, right now. Please, please, guys. Every song on Espresso. the album. Espresso. There are people That's on here that only listen to casting Slim crowns. Pickens? <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, so crazy. some of her music can I be a little raunch, but she's like on top right now, pop pop wise. But I was listening to this interview of her, um, and she was talking about how she grew up in like a small town. If you can hear, do you think they can hear that scratching? No, you can't hear it. Because I, I can't hear it in my... Car- Phil is, Phil's losing his little cage right now, you guys. It's but like the way these little buttons on the side were popped. <laughs> <laughs> I already, you guys need to stop wearing these pants. I hate these pants officially. Have we no. gained weight or are the buttons looser? No, they always do this. Anytime I squatted down, they just pop. All of them. The, no, we have these breakaway pants, these Adidas pants that Enoch's sitting in. And when so I wore them in the airport the other day, I sat down on the plane yep. and it was like, <laughs> and they all come unsnapped. She gets the if they were like, hey, can you help me out? <laughs> I'm, like, I, I'm down there. Like, <laughs> I know. That was, that was <laughs> If they were open during the first part of this podcast, I'm cropping myself out. <laughs> Enoch, <laughs> My whole not. thigh was popping. My whole thigh. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm getting a little breeze over here. <laughs> okay, I'm convinced that these Enoch's buttons like, were tighter. But one time, remember when we went to that movie and Enoch's like, I'm all yep. hot, unsnaps them all. <laughs> it has a, remember? What are they there for? The look. Yeah, and I was hot in the theater and I just went. <laughs> and I, now, need, I needed some shorts. That was a good movie. When are we going to the movies? That's a real I want to go to the movies so bad. I want to see that. Yeah, that Andrew Garfield movie. But okay, so I was listening to this <laughs> interview was. with Sabrina Carpenter. I actually have a funny Andrew Garfield story I can tell after this. But <laughs> it was saying, she was saying how. I think you've told it on here. Yeah. Oh, maybe I have. You guys always love doing that. But what if we've caught, <laughs> what if we've caught a new listener on our way? And they're like, I haven't heard it. Like someone right Honestly, now. she's right. We're on episode someone 28. Someone right now is listening to this. I guess so. It's yeah. like, also, let me retell a story. You know what I mean? Enoch's like, no repeats. <laughs> Cut the camera. It's like, you've said that. I'm like, I've said everything I've said before. I, I hardly think I'm breaking new ground. <laughs> I like, <laughs> I just want some like, fresh content. That's on me. <laughs> anyway, because I know there's if a listener out there If I walk in and my like, pastor's preaching the same story. sermon he did a couple months ago. <sighs> the comparison of that I'd is I'd be like, crazy. all right, I'm good. podcast. First of all, Full yeah. yeah. Anyway, right, tell us that same Ireland story. Okay, oh, well, okay. already got the you already got it wrong. London. Mm-hmm. So demerit. Anyway, back to my <laughs> same demerit. story. I I feel like it's gonna be out uh, at an hour, and I'm like, anyway. So I was watching the Sabrina <laughs> Carpenter interview. Sideline. Um, <laughs> so I was watching this interview, and she grew up in a town that was like boring, and she was like. I was bored, so it forced me to be creative. And I think that I kind of had the same upbringing of, like, it was not a lot going on. And I was also homeschooled. I was about to say homeschooling itself. It was a lot of just, like, me hanging out with my brother Josh. Or, like, I just had, like, a massive imagination. Like, everything was, like, I always had things spinning in my head. And I think that it's just created, my friend Crystal always says, there's no such thing as being bored. There's boring people. And I'm like, it's you true. Know, I kind of feel that I way. I see that. I really see that. I, that, no, I'm not going to tell and you. And that's why like, I've yeah. said this before. So clock me, Enoch. <laughs> that's why uh, all my kids will have wooden toys. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I'm like, Very interesting. they need to have like creativity. If it's just, I mean, I say this now, my kid's going to probably have everything. Yeah. Until they they're losing wanted. it in the restaurant. Yeah. But it's like, if everything's like swirling lights, music, it's like, <laughs> it's like, sounds like a rave. It's like, you've literally just had to do nothing. But Anna, if it's like, you have you two cannot, sticks and a bobby pin. You cannot and give your kids all wooden toys. So many people would be like, let's have a talk. 
I don't know. I think it could be cool. Also, aesthetically. I, I don't think I'm going to be a beige mom, per se, but I yeah. I feel like I definitely... <coughs> I do want there to be room for creativity. Like, I'm a big, like, blank sheet over a coloring sheet. You know what I mean? Let them draw what they think. That's good. Yeah. It's very good. It's Aww. like, anybody Kids. want some parenting advice? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. like, but like you can't even keep your cat in that bag. <laughs> this is the most unlikely. He's of, literally of fighting to get out right advice. now. I know. I'm like, here's a few thing parenting advice from a kid. That's what I, I like to say. I love giving parenting advice. I'm like, hey, maybe don't do it like that. Parenting advice from a kid, Kayla. Aren't you 24? No, I'm saying, yeah, I'm about to be 24. Shout out. But yeah, but it's good to give. <laughs> Another shout out. I know. I stuck in my head. It's good to give parenting All our advice. shout outs. Who are you shouting out? Yourself for your age? Yeah. I'm That's turning a real did. age. I'm turning a real age. A real age. What has what it been mean? up to this? Up to this, it's just been kind of like. You've been I'm a fraud. Just vibing. Even though like I've been out on my own living and working day and night. But it's like. <sighs> day and night. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. But for some reason, I'm having like a crisis of, of, of self this age. Tell, tell us about it. Yeah. What do you mean? I'm three months. No, I'm I'm one month or almost two months out from being 24. And I just feel like I'm turning a big age. It just feels like, man, I'm grown for real. Like people are, my best friends are married. And like one of them has a kid. It's like, <laughs> when did this happen? I feel like I was just in high school. Nah, 24, that's OD. Yeah, I mean, I feel like your friends are having kids pretty young. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They are. Just, that's just not on me. It's are, not the other way around. <laughs> I... But, I mean, that is honestly, growing up, that's when people would have kids. Now, like, statistically, everything is happening later yeah. in life for people. But, yeah. Like, I mean, wait till you turn 28. That's my golden year. Because my birthday is mm -hmm. on December 28th. If anybody wants to send a little gift, Cash App is dollar sign, Kayla Ron Date. Um, <laughs> cash, cash App. app. <laughs> Gotcha. So how do you guys give out my How do you guys though? feel about posting your cash app on yeah, your birthday? That's so funny to me. It I've never like understood I'm that. It feels like I'm begging for scraps. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I would never. I've like seen people like dummy well off ask like <laughs> still doing that. And I'm like, is that what we're doing? I'd feel crazy. I can't do it. I'd feel embarrassed. It. It's like if you want to send me something, you know, you already have my cash app. Does that make sense? I'd feel bad. Or Venmo, but I don't just give my Venmo to anybody. Okay, if you've made it this far in the episode, because I, I love giveaways, this makes me think of giveaways. Also, we're I always do a big Christmas giveaway. I don't know what it should be this year. Mm -hmm. So let me know. Message me if you guys have any ideas. And when I normally do like Target gift cards or I'll do my favorite things, like um, <laughs> mm -hmm. I have a theme every year for my Christmas gifts. And one year it was my favorite things we did, you know, brown paper you packages guys, tied to strings it was just so incredible i'll never but, forget that thank you and so i did that as my giveaway too like all my big favorite things um but let me know i one last year someone wrote in like airpod maxes i'm like we could do that i guess whatever Oof, i'd apply for that apply i'm like <laughs> it's a small <laughs> application <laughs> you have two references um but all this to say last week we gave away three shirts um, you should get your shirts this week and let's give away some more shirts. So if you let's want a it. shirt, comment below, um, your golden nugget and then like your favorite episode memory, or maybe respond to one of the things that we said in this episode. So comment on the YouTube video right now mm -hmm. and apply for a shirt. Apply. I'm like, I don't know where that crazy. came from. <laughs> What? You put the microphone in your mouth like you had something to say. Anything <laughs> from you, Peanut? I've got nothing to say. I'm excited. Let's give them out. Okay. <laughs> I wish we had a live I wish we had a live audience so we could just like with those little guns Yo. just shoot them out. Guns. Oh my gosh. It's like would you guys boom, come to a live boom. recording of this or Wait, yeah, I mean They did. <laughs> they did in Alabama. No, I want to do one in Dallas. Did I did I talk about that last week? Mm-mm. It was no, just over text. Week. It was just over text. Okay. Well, this is unveiling. Hey, everyone. We want to do a live show. Let us know if you want to come in Dallas. I think that'd be so fun. That'd be so just fun. Just like intimate kind of feel. I'm like, just intimate 2,000 people. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Crazy. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I we're like, we're have a concert for 2,000 people. I don't think be in at, Dallas. Um, American Airlines Stadium. <laughs> 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 American Airlines after a Mavs game. <laughs> it's people us? are like, have y'all gone bankrupt? Because like, what is that like? <laughs> <laughs> we fill it. 
It's like, it's like 17 like, people listen to this podcast. We fill the American yeah. Airlines. I'm shocked that anyone like, even listens. It's like during their, during their halftime. It's like, while y'all are here. You guys are gonna give us Where twenty minutes. Like, like, what is the it's what is the short at? What is that little guy called? The Mavs guy? Oh, I don't know. Champ. Champ. He's like he's like dunking basketballs, you know, on like the trampoline. We're yeah. like in the middle on a desk. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, people are like, Boo! and we're like, and actually, so like working in mystery. <laughs> Man, what are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> <laughs> we're like, this is so we're, like, we're like, she's been in ministry for about 12 years and like <laughs> me as a pastor's kid and Enoch went to ministry school. <laughs> anyway, like, so I've been working in ministry for over 12 years. People are like, boring. <laughs> Where's the game? Speaking of game, Enoch, anything sports related that you want to let everybody know? Yeah, no, you I've got, got this. You got this. Guys, the, Yankees, got are, the Yankees are down. We're down bad, but it's all right. I've got nothing to you say. You got your sweet little hat on. Yeah, because I had a bad hair day, but that's about it. Hopefully by this time, when you guys listen to this, because we recorded this Monday, I can tell everything. Anything else you guys want to know? We'll let you know. We're recording it at what time on Monday? <laughs> it's 6.30. 6.30. Um, hopefully they'll have one, one a game, right? Hopefully. We'll see. Do you want to give the update? It is what it is. We're down 0-2. So the Dodgers giving, are playing incredible. Dodgers the series. Dodgers are playing incredible, but at the same time, we're just not showing up. Aaron Judge is not showing up, and things just are not going our way. We're not executing. Mm. You know, if everybody in the lineup could be Juan Soto, I'd let that be. But but who's the guy that you said's a modern-day Babe Ruth on the other team now? Shohei Otani. Did Otani get hurt? He has, like, a dislocated shoulder, but he'll be fine. Enoch was all... Oh no, Otani got hurt. <laughs> and I was like, Enoch. Enoch, that's <laughs> evil. <laughs> that's that crazy. little giggle's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, he still feels that way. <laughs> it is what it is. They're incredible, but it's like, uh, you, we'll see. So we'll win a game. People take baseball this serious, huh? Yeah, it's everything. Everything, hardly. I'm like, I just never knew anyone who liked baseball. Like, I guess it's just it's the company you keep. I kept more that's like real. football fans. Yeah, like, Baltimore's ew. that. Yeah, Baltimore. Mm-hmm. It's either Commanders or Ravens, but you know, at this point, they so have two teams. Uh, DC. DMV. Oh yeah. The, but the so it's the Washington Commanders, but the stadium is literally like thirty minutes maybe from the Ravens stadium it's in Maryland. Got it. Next to the like indoor track that we ran all our track meets at. It's incredible. It's Did right you there. run track? <sighs> I don't like to talk about it. <laughs> Let's talk about it. For how many years? Um, it was like three or four years. My dad decided we had no track team in our county. Kay. So we would always have to drive out of county. And so him and a couple of his friends were like, yeah, we're going to start a track team. All of us were like the same age, all the kids. But you had to have a certain number of people to start a team. So, of course, I was forced onto the team. There was like two girls on the team. Could have literally just killed myself at that point. And I was forced Kill- to run, <clears throat> forced to do the um, – the race walk, and that's the what? all the race walk. And I can't even it just if you look is up that race like the walk. Olympic like walking? Speed walking? And it was so I bad. I honestly feel like I'd crush it. No, 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 no. Yeah. It's harder than you think because if I your knees so not fast. locked, but then if your knees unlocked, da da da. Anyway, my last race ever. Unlocked. I had never. I had been. I had literally been running, running track for four years. My last race, I had never medaled, never once. My last race was only three people in the race. If I finish. I medal. I'm like pumped, and it's a race walk, 1600. Uh, I need so to see it, a video. It was, the fact it was, that you were a race, but it was walker. indoor track, so I think it was eight laps. It was long. I'm a race walking, and so I'm going lap after lap. The problem on race walk is if you do, if you get three strikes, you're disqualified. And when they strike you, they have these little paddles, and they're like, and they hold it out like that. So I see myself get one, but I'm like, that's just one. I don't see the other two. I'm disqualified on. <laughs> I'm disqualified on lap. One, <laughs> they don't tell me I finish the race. I finish the race. I'm like, whew. I'm walking up to that podium and I see my mom. I'm like, she was a coach, but I'm like, why is she down here? <laughs> hey, honey. Hey, honey, let me talk to you really quick. I'm like 11. <laughs> She's like, you've actually been disqualified. I don't think I've ever cried that hard in my life. <laughs> I'm screaming. The drama. Crying. I can already see like, her <laughs> dropping to the floor. No, literally. And you know when you're like little and so like the only cuss words you know are like the fake cuss words, but you're saying it with such venom and I'm like, what the heck? It's just like this <laughs> dang crazy. place. 
And then I was like, I'm never running again. And that was my last race. And the fact that every how time I... How did you I, get disqualified? How, how'd you get those strikes? It's like if your knee isn't locked or if your form... There's a form. And there's like a little form. And if you're out of form, you can get you can get strikes. Why are we doing that? <laughs> it's like, what Listen, is I, that? after watching the Olympics, it's like we just made things up. So no, like, I'm like, like to why include, are we doing this fast To include people in that just like, you know, they needed a space. They needed a space to find identity. They needed a space to just fit in. There have was a team. some crazy sports on there, like the guns with the, that aren't real guns. Did you guys see that? Yeah. One? And the one guy, the Turkish the guy, just fucking. the regular <laughs> office dude. Bah! And, was like, <laughs> and Japan had just like the most like GI Jane yeah. person there could be. I think. What if like we added like cooking to the Olympics? You know what I mean? Things like that. Well, that's what Master Chef is for. I love Master Chef. I love. If I Master could ever Chef. meet Gordon Ramsay in this life, I'd be me complete. too. Really, Gordon Ramsay. I feel like and Guy Fieri. In another I'd world, like, in another hardly world, I'd be a the chef. same. No, not at all. Guy Fieri. Yes, he's Grimes got no Grimes. taste at all. Oh, I love when people wear the little, little hats, the little visors with like the blonde hair oh, coming yeah. out, looking like Guy Fieri. Guys, we have all decided on what we're dressing up with th- this week. First of all, just a disclaimer. If you have a problem with Halloween, we don't celebrate Halloween. We mm-hmm. just dress up. And I'm so, I got so used to doing it because we went to Fall Fest growing up at yeah. church. What were you guys' best Halloween costumes? Man, that's a great but question. you didn't dress up at all, right? Yeah, I, I didn't grow up like that. Last year was my first year actually dressing up. That's so crazy. And you were like a full grown adult. Yeah. Do you want to explain? On Halloween, we would actually stay in the house. We wouldn't even go to school. Oh, wow. Yeah. Y'all we just It down. was just a dead day. We wouldn't even entertain it. Wow. Do you want to oh, expand yeah. on why? I mean, it's just the way my parents thought. There's not much explanation. They just didn't entertain, I guess, what it represents. Mm. Hmm. We had Satan's holla, birthday. Uh, in, okay. I don't think that's, <laughs> uh, that's not what they say it is. But obviously, yeah. In some churches, it's like, you know, yeah. they entertain the fact that mm. It's not a very godly day. We had a fall so, fest at our church. Yeah. It was yesterday. So cute, the little costumes. I we just love the fact. Nights. Yeah. That's real. Hallelujah nights growing up until my dad, he's a bit of a rebel. And so at one point he was just deciding to be rebellious. I'll never forget. And he was like, you guys can go trick or treating this year. And we were like, we can go what? What do you mean? And he's like, yeah, you guys can go trick or treating. He's taking all these pics. I'm like, what is he doing? Rebelling. Rebelling against, against just the everything. So <laughs> there I was, not using all the. That's ploy. so funny. Yeah, my best Halloween costume was probably a group costume. The whole family did Cat in the Hat. So Maya was a Cat in the Hat. I was Thing One. Jaden was Thing Two. My parents were like just had little hats and gloves. I think that was the best. And I was probably like eight. That's mm. sweet. But we didn't put a lot of work. Like my mom wasn't really a costume mom. Like we would be that those people who are at Party City day of. You know what I mean? Looking through like it. the last of the. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Did you guys dress up? Yeah, I mean, I dressed up all growing up. I realized of looking of, I had to look through a lot of uh, childhood photos this weekend, and I was the same clown for like three years straight. <laughs> that's so scary. I hate clowns. Hannah, that's so crazy. But it wasn't like a scary clown. It was like a normal, I was like three. I was like a normal clown. But I was like clown back to back to back. And I was like, come on, clown. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, <laughs> so. I was in a lot of plays growing up, so it was like I had a lot of costumes on hand. Mm-hmm. But but you chose a clown? Yeah. I remember one year I got to be like Little Red Riding Hood. This is when we were in Los Angeles, and I was like, I'm the prettiest girl in the world. That's <laughs> amazing. Like, do you know what I mean? Like when you got like a cute costume. Oh, when yeah. You're, yeah. I was, for some reason, I was just like always like, oh, I'm going to look my best self on Halloween. But now, like, I definitely didn't grow up being one of those girls who was, like, trying to dress cute. Mm, I, like, I tried that one year. It switched over to where I was like, these are so funny. Yeah. And so this year, Enoch and I are being. Are we revealing it? Yeah. But, yeah, but, like, no. This I've is been only ke- for I've our listeners. Mine. Okay, I, feel our like you g- I feel like you school. gatekeep and then, like, you reveal this it. This is just for our golden nuggets. Okay, fine. This is an inside scoop. Tell your friends. We're spilling tea over here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I'm being Master Shifu from Kung Fu Panda and Enoch's being Poe. The panda. This is going to be so funny to see. Is it a I'm going to be a big old panda. His is like a whole set. I had to get... Is it inflated? I had to... There's First of all, there's no <laughs> Master Shifu costume. 
I had to order everything. He's in custom like, made. He's in like a kung fu monk garment. Yeah, that I had to with order with the little. Uh huh. Yep. And then I got to order all the facial hair. Yeah, and we need to get you eyebrows too, like very hairy. White. I did. Mm. I but also I'm like, tell me what animal kung f- like Master Shifu is. He's a rat. A he looks like no, a rat. He's a gerbil. He's a red panda. No, I had no clue. I was like looking up, so I had to get a red panda tail and ears. Hard to find. <laughs> okay, and, uh, your costume is so niche. I know for sure. So you're both pandas at the end of the day. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm just like a little teeny petite panda. Mm-hmm. Tiny, but so tiny. Yeah, I'll be out here. <laughs> <laughs> I already but feel I'm myself. Be I'm gonna like a, a lobster. I thought you were a crawfish. No, <laughs> you know, oh God, crawfish this whole is time, so funny. This whole time, I thought you were a crawfish. No, I'm a lobster, but it looks kind of like Sebastian from Little Mermaid, so I think I might just go with that. Red lobster. I wonder what everyone's going to be. Or I'm the red lobster. <gasps> I'm getting some biscuits. That's actually oh, so yes. I'm getting some biscuits. Red lobster. <laughs> actually, my we sister have, um, is George Washington. She just sent me a picture of her costume. It's insane. I'm like, Liz, how much did you spend on um, this? Right now, I'm like, where can you order red lobster biscuit mix? I'm dead serious. Walmart. Why do you just order them day up? One of my meals that I've saved for the fall Are there red lobsters has a, exist? it's topped off with a red lobster. That's incredible. I don't know if you guys can see that. No, they can't, but I it's can great. send it to you. Uh, it's fantastic. I I love this because I really don't. Liz and I, my sister and I have never been those girls who try to like look hot on Halloween. It's just straight for we want to get the best laugh. <laughs> like we want it to be prime. It's like laugh. I already feel big. Why do I have to be the biggest thing alive? No, but that's you the know, best. What are we gonna put you in a corset? Yeah, I feel like I should have been something. Lose my ever. <laughs> like People I are like, actually, we are off. <laughs> <That> is, <laughs> Wait, there off. is a red lobster in Mesquite. I could just go get some. Yeah, I'm like, there are red lobsters. Red lobsters still out here. Red lobsters who did the shrimp thing, right? Yeah. The I just listened to his. C- I just listened to the CEO talk about this yeah. the other day. He was like, it was a bad, mis- it was a big mistake. Yeah. They lost so much money. They lost eight million dollars. They almost went bankrupt. Well, I think they did. I think they because over. The you know what I might just walk around with the box, so mm-hmm. much cheaper. I'm the red lobster. Sorry guys, I'm over here contemplating. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. no, it's great. Uh, but they did bottomless shrimp, and it just mm-hmm. really took it out of <laughs> That's it. That's off like topic. It's shrimp. Back to Halloween. But I just want to say that I saw a TikTok alone of four people at a table, and collectively they ate over 350 shrimp. I can do that. And it was like it became like, a trend. It became a trend on TikTok how many shrimp you could eat at the all you can eat shrimp. And I'm just like, you can you imagine the CEO seeing that I catch like on? He's and he's like, like ah! <laughs> That's when you just scrap it. He's Why like, do they I'm stay broke, there I'm for broke. so long? <laughs> it's like you never knew it was gonna become a trend where people are gorging themselves. In this Ozempic society, you're gonna find that people are gorging themselves for shrimp. Look, Great no, shrimp. One thing about shrimp, I could go to this place called the Kicking Crab right now. I could drive my car there. I know. Doesn't that just sound good? I could go to. Sh- I'm shucks. like literally. We talked about this last week, and we didn't go. Oh shucks! Oh, you should go. Guys, the weather's I so good. I just grocery shopped, <laughs> the and the we- like. It looks good, like the sunset. Imagine you mm. stop. Like, all right, everybody, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> like, like, did they sleep to go get crab? That's funny. <sighs> I'm anyway, down if y'all are down. But so that is, we're going to have um, people over on Thursday. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, before you give out our address. And uh, Hold on. Phil. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Phil's going to be a banana. Carl. Now, I, I had a couple ideas for Carl, okay? My favorite <laughs> idea was Carl dressing up as me. Anna, that's incredible. <laughs> is that <not> so funny? <laughs> I have ordered him a brunette wig. So too soon to tell. So I think he could be me. I think that's so funny. I How's he going to keep it on? Does it have like a, a strap? It's just for the pigs. First of all, Carl's incredible with keeping on costumes. Okay. No, like a wig. No, he's done wigs. Oh. He's done lots of different wigs. He's done hats. The seriousness. Head she got, She's like, no, he's done wigs. <laughs> he's <laughs> Carl does wigs. Carl does. He lays the wigs. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> 
I'm like He's got that lace front <laughs> No <laughs> Not my car His edges are laid No <laughs> not my son <laughs> He's like God he knocked That's so great Did Carl no. doesn't wear wigs <laughs> He'll be a bell pepper Listen A bell pepper is crazy A banana and a bell pepper Carl always has A top tier costume he it's like, why does Phil get the hand me down? Why can't he have his own? That's younger brother. He's type got stuff. his own personality. Mm-hmm. He's he'll gonna be, be first be of all, he's gonna have to wear his banana costume over his neuter ones. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> he, we gotta get. You can't get. I too also great. don't even think he fits it. The, the banana. He no, does. Remember, remember, he's skinny though. He's just. The he hair. is so skinny. Mm. He just has so much fur. We used. We, we saw that today. I was scared. For I, my wish life. I, 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 was I wish I could say the same thing. I know. I'm just swollen. My sister would wake up every morning <laughs> and be like, oh, I'm just so swollen. I'm like, Liz, come on. <laughs> I'm like, she's like, I'm swollen head to toe. I'm like, all right. Head to toe is so great. Head to toe swollen. I've been head to toe swollen since I was 11. So Anna? Okay. <laughs> anyway. Just thick boned. Um, we're excited to, we're excited. <laughs> I, I got a lot of decorations and stuff. It's fun. I like making little treats. I love any excuse mm-hmm. to host anything, really. Yeah. And then the second it's over, Christmas. The trees go up. I honestly might. I have a tree for my room. I might put it up that night. I'm not even. I'm not. I'm even thinking we might have to do Christmas setup next Tuesday since we're gonna be out of town. <sighs> True. But I'm like block your calendar. I'm ready. I'm so tired of setting up. I, I, Hucky <laughs> Dogs, like we just did Halloween. I'm so set tired up. of. <laughs> <laughs> well, get ready. You're going to have to put those trees together. Uh, That's no. like it's the man's so part easy, of the job. Though. It's like I, just, I think it's because I we. I grew up with a Christmas right, tree that you see. had to put let me, every uh, branch uh, in Let the me state. say something. Kay. I think it's the fact that we just moved in and we've been traveling a lot. And I think, like, I just want to enjoy the house. I love Guess projects. What? You guys, you I don't love get to projects. enjoy the house at Christmas time. That's and not listen, something Anna's got get. a project every other hour. Here's the reality. I'm going to shift the conversation a little bit. <laughs> not going to get too sad, but I did. Um, my aunt passed away um, last week, th- last Wednesday. It's been really sad and hard on our family. So I do want to say for Enoch, I a way of grieving is I do projects and I'll start cleaning and I just like keep mm-hmm. getting new projects. So over the weekend, we've probably done like 15 to 20 projects and I'm just like, oh, more things, more things. Um, it's just my way of processing things. I like to keep mm-hmm. my mind on stuff. And but so next Tuesday, <laughs> six trees are going up. <laughs> well, I, I do like, I love Christmas and I, I used to year. think Christmas was my favorite holiday, but my friend, showed me it's got thanksgiving's be. my favorite holiday because you get to celebrate christmas and it's not over and i was like exactly. yeah because really? it's a christmas what feels i do love thanksgiving trio. i just love the food i love the company mm. we oh. are going to europe for thanksgiving so food's gonna be like a little different but i think year. we're gonna have like friendsgiving before totally because i i love the food Okay. I need the Thanksgiving box. He's like, I just want to let you know now we're having Friendsgiving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, but like, Enoch, you can't be a Grinch about the Christmas stuff going up. You're literally a Christmas no, baby. No, I know. Like. And I got a little beef with Christmas. Listen, it's all about the Lord at the end of the day. We have Americanized it to where it's a, it's a little bit about enjoying Christmas. But then my birthday is on the 29th. So every year it was like, you know, just shadowed. Did you all always have Christmas themed? Well, no, she's my, a birthday, girl. my birthday is on the 28th and I just had an, a really like my mom. She's my angel from heaven. Literally. Right. She would never let me think I had a birthday tree. And yeah. I, I mean, also had like, I love my parents. My they tried their best in birthday wrapping paper, never in Christmas wrapping. Paper. Yeah. You know, she's like, because it's different. My parents <laughs> tried their best. I didn't get that. It's all love. But listen, it's all love. It's all love. But it's like I just see that week in between Christmas and New Year's Eve as just like the most dead week of what? the year. What? That's the best. Like week of everyone the forgets. Year. Well, that's literally where everybody goes home. Everyone forgets. Everyone goes home. Everyone went broke from Christmas. I will say and you like, don't get a lot of happy birthdays. No, not that's at all. Definitely true. And it's people like, are like, oh, I'm not working. I don't know you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we've been working together for four and it's years. Always, it's always the Christmas gift is the birthday gift. For well, sure. We don't do that anymore. But it's yeah. a new life. It's a new life. <laughs> Welcome like to you've, Dallas. You've married the celebration queen. So You're a mean one. Anna is the best gift giver you right really now. Are a well, heel. thank you for saying that. Those Ugg slippers I have. 
Oh, I love that. You still got. That him. was my first birthday here, and I literally was so sad that year because I had to work on my birthday, and I also like w- had to fly back from home. Uh-huh. What was on that was birthday? So, what do you mean? It was we went to Restoration. Yeah, I we thought. went to Restoration Harbor. I was turning oh, twenty-two. That's sweet. And those those slippers were hard to find. I'll tell you yeah. that. And then she was like, "Okay, but no." Then she gave me options. She was like, "Do you want the slippers or this blanket?" And I was like, "Oh my gosh, there's options." Both. <laughs> and I was like, "Cause I don't think the slippers were your exact size." No, they're like a little big, but it works. Cause like you know fuzzy I mean? socks. Yeah. Cause it's I could rope. only get them in a bigger size. Cause I was mm-hmm. like, man, that was the year that the little Taz, I think the Tasman, Tasman. slip on UGG slippers. It they was, was like popping hotcakes. I got my family member every. Every person in my family a pair for Christmas. And they opened those and had no clue except for my sister. They're like, oh, these are nice. What would be everyone's dream Christmas this year? Well, I my dream Christmas is that all but that both of our families are together. Oh, that's so nice. Ah! And that free that <laughs> stresses Enoch out so bad. I'm like, that's no, my be dream fun. Christmas. That'd be fun. I love a I house full of family, cooking. Yeah. yeah. Like Everyone just hanging out, matching pajamas. That's yeah. All. I've already sent my mom the options. In fact, I'll be re-checking with her after this because she hasn't responded. I'm like, we gotta order them now. Sure, like, you can't order them close to, or they'll be gone. I think it's just like everything you're saying. It's just that's what Christmas is about. This is my first Christmas with my family living in Dallas, so I don't have to get on a plane after Christmas services. I just have to drive. That's so sweet. I can cry thinking yeah. about that. Mm. That would be incredible. Yeah. So. That's a, what about you? No, I agree. Were you thinking more gifts? No, that's what I meant. Maybe a little bit more like theatrical. I was I asking more of like the day, like oh, I wake Christmas up day. and I just smell oh. cinnamon rolls. Yeah, I'll make the a heat of the air. Breakfast. Make waffles. a big breakfast. As the snow Good falls. Christmas movies going on. No yeah. snow. It's never going to be snow here. No. The crazy thing about Christmas is recently with my family, I've so I've missed the past two Christmas Eves. Like I land like super late. So then I just kind of go to bed and then we wake up. Usually, you know, it's the kids like running into, you know, the parents room like, let's wake up. But now that all of us are adults, it's very much like we're still asleep. And my mom's like, come now or we're going to start without you. <laughs> I know. It's 7 a.m. And That's I'm true. like, oh my God. guys, growing up, I would li- I remember we would wake up at like four in the morning. Yeah. And be like, and we always did Christmas, Christmas morning. So it was like, we'd wake up so early. But none of us could open our gifts until we all recited Luke 2 by memory. And it was like, man, when I was younger, <laughs> you're like, <laughs> and I was like, in those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that his census should be taken to the entire Roman world. This was the first census to be taken. Like, Quirinius was a gover- governor of the whole Syria. chapter. Oh, yeah. And I know. Anna, no. Don't tell me. Fully that. Luke 2. I, knew, I thought My you meant parents, like Luke 2 verse 1. Like, <laughs> no. That's How many crazy. verses is it? 20 something? I could be wrong. Anna. Oh, no. It's long. It's a long. It's the entire birth of Jesus. Luke's account. So. And they're like, we just don't want you to forget what this day is really about. Exactly. There's never going to be a moment we forgot. And I will say, like. Growing up, my parents did do, like, sweet things of, like, we got to pick someone that we wanted to, like, bless each Aww. of us for Christmas. That's sweet. Which was really great. And I think that, I think I just learned young how much more rewarding giving was than receiving. Mm. And beautiful. so, I love it. I love wow. that I now get to be at the age where the Lord has blessed us with a place where we can host people and family and that's it's great. so fun. I love it. I'm going to buy more dining chairs for my table. Right, Enoch? We're doing that. <laughs> I just bought two more dining chairs for our dining table. I got a new dining table because I was like, we need more room. And then we had another dinner party over the weekend, and I was like, we're going to need more chairs, I'm thinking. So, mm-hmm. anyway. I guess so. I guess that's what I'm getting for Christmas. It's like you grow up and you get the weirdest things. I got a blender last year and I was so happy. Like I could cry like when I saw it. I was like, you can't, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Nutri bullet. <laughs> it's fancy. <laughs> this year I want a food processor. That's Ooh, crazy. I love it. I love oh, have you seen the Like a food? juicer? No, it's a food processor. So it, it's more chop than blend. Um, but then also it has attachments. So you can put the cheese yeah, in there I've seen and it grates the cheese. It makes garlic. like croutons. Yep. I can't wait. What are you going to make with that? I Everything. Why would you just get so tall? <laughs> I just changed my seating arrangement. <laughs> I don't know what I want for Christmas, actually. Probably, like, house stuff. House stuff. You're Go ahead and make one. that list. Maybe, like... 
I think I want. I I just like. I think I just want a home gym. Probably a sauna. I think I just want doing? thousands of dollars. That's <laughs> so great right now. You I acted I like you're about home. to oh, be you're tiny act, Tim. You're acting like acting a, for a little what, little thing. What is it that you wanted for like a year? The mixer. Those mixers are like a car payment, a, a car down payment. Kitchen aid mixer you can get on a great sale. Is that what Do I you asked have you one? for Christmas? I don't know. I did. I got rid of it because I it was one. a really old one. Where is it? In my parents' storage unit. It just got here. Wow. Yeah, we can get it. Wow. They don't use it. <laughs> I love. I love. My mom gave me her KitchenAid mixer, and I love it. I just want. I just want the huge one. Oh, I don't have the big one. It's also bright pink because, like, at the time I got it, you know, of course, of course. My Smeg. Barbie. My B- it's Barbie. Literally. My uh, Smeg hot water guy. Yeah, is uh, it's cute is though. Pink. It's black. I. You know what? That actually, I got at a TJ Maxx. Yeah. My Smeg. I mm-hmm. and I every time I go to like a Marshall's Home Goods, man, that makes me want to go to Marshall's. I always look at there because no, they have so many steals holiday. there. I might go there. I'm like, even even like it? pans. Y'all can go. Should I got a go? game to watch. You should go. go. I'll go. Yeah, I'll go. Honestly, yeah. Home Goods. I was there the other day making the boo basket. So much. To that steal. was so sweetie. Not how my many first, of y'all out there got a boo basket? It was my first boo basket. This was in my boo basket. And y'all, I was stressed. <laughs> I went what two <laughs> weeks ago? What'd you say? This is my boo basket. What? You got me oh, the sweater. Was, oh yeah, the sweater. I thought you were saying that wasn't your first boo basket. I was about to crash out. Oh my god! <laughs> I was about to crash out. <laughs> I was about to call this one early. Mean <laughs> hike. Anyways, it was my first boo basket. <laughs> you saw me pause. I said, "You said what?" <laughs> Enoch, does it matter? It does. It doesn't. Anyways, not knowing what goes in the boot basket, I had my sister help me. She pulled a lot from Pinterest and TikTok, and we just got to working. Here's the thing. I thought I'd go to Target. She was out of town last weekend, and I guess it was just too late. I walk in. Baby, and they ma- put all of it in the back because me and Kayla yeah, went a couple we were days. It was, majority, it was majority Christmas stuff. You guys probably saw, like, Halloween costumes and stuff, but they weren't, like, Halloween, like, cute uh, gifts. It was well, in the very let's, back. Let's say this. Me and Anna went a few days later, and I remember being like, "Didn't he say there was no Halloween? That there the was a whole Halloween?" The front, no, the front of the I store was Christmas. It was Christmas. A little the, the magnolia. I needed like the cute stuff. There okay. wasn't like any f- Halloween. Cute I loved stuff. everything in that basket. Like I didn't see any mugs. I loved my any mug. little cushions. I used it two nights ago. Did you? Yeah, I got my tea. Oh, I saw it in storage. Storage <laughs> and where's what word we have storage. storage? It's crazy. Storage for us <laughs> is that cabinet underneath an espresso. <laughs> Or we never go. <laughs> I forgot we had tea. The other <laughs> yeah. day, like, there's tea in here. I gotta fix that I know. I just caught some English breakfast too. Anyways, yeah, first boo basket. It did. It it took me to go to 18 different stores. Thank you. I that, love it. But and the dedication home goods. is so sweet. Thank you. And if you're not coming like that, don't come at all. And that's Truly, the, and those but, are the facts. And that's today's golden nugget because because <laughs> the, the Yankees are about to have a first pitch. So I'm gonna <laughs> sign off. Y'all can keep going. Enoch, salute. <laughs> I I did want to say um, I am like looking around and looking at all the flowers in the room, which are so beautiful. But like I said, this has been a pretty hard week for our family. So this episode has been very light and fun because right now the other side of my brain is a little sad. I think this is um, this would be like my first loss in my family as an adult. Mm-hmm. I lost my grandparent. Well, I only really knew one of my grandparents when I was pretty young. So my aunts and uncles have been kind of like my grandparents. It's my mom's oldest siblings. Um, and so it's been a really hard week for our family. So appreciating. I know so many of you guys, I made a post on my Instagram. So many of you guys, your prayers and stuff have been really kind. My parents have been in town for over a week. So it's that's also been helpful. My, my mom, it's my mom's sister. Um, so We've just been family nonstop, all the things. So we didn't really have a moment this week to sit down and kind of go through a topic of podcasting. Mm-hmm. But so grateful for you guys and grateful for the support and all the kind words. Grief is so weird. Yeah. Like it's actually, it's so fascinating. Um, my uncle is actually a counselor and I was just like talking to him about, you know, stages of grief and like, I'm like, what do you tell people? Like, when they go through this, he's like, you just kind of have to just follow the cycles of it. And so it's been a lot of that. A lot of, like, 
like I said, we looked through all of our old photos. Enoch was so kind to actually do the slideshow for the funeral. So on Saturday, we probably spent, what, like five hours just looking through photos? Oh, yeah. Which is like every emotion yeah. in the world of like, oh, man, that's so that's so funny. Remember this? And like all the great memories. And then um, I heard someone say before that like grief is just all the unexpressed love that you have for that person. So it's it's really that like. Man, your heart just swells up with so much love, and then obviously mm-hmm. they're gone now. And we believe in heaven and that they're in a better place and all the things. But here on earth right now, it's not the funnest. Um, but we do miss her a lot. But it's been really great. I I got to see some of my family that I haven't seen in a long time, and we like mm-hmm. all met up at a restaurant. We're giving each other hugs. Like so good to see you, and it's like. Under, obviously, her horrible circumstances, but it's also so great to be around family. Yeah. And I think that if there's anything that I've been, like, this week has just recalibrated how important family is. Not that I ever thought Mm -hmm. that it wasn't, but it's like, man, my mom had said something about, like, when they, she passed away at um, her house, and she was like, man, she's not here anymore, but all of her stuff is here. Mm-hmm. And I'm just looking around. She's like, you don't take any of it. Yeah. And I don't know why. There's just so much in me that I was like, we don't take any of it. None and of like, this. we know that. But it really is like, man, what are we doing to? Man. I I, I loved to kind of tie in. The other night we were sitting with Kayla's parents. And they were just telling us, like, things they've learned, mistakes they've made that they've learned from, all the things. And she was like, we love seeing you guys go on trips. Mm-hmm. She was like, because you're able to take memories. She was like, when Jimmy and I got money, we started buying things. And she's like, now we're at the place where it's like, we don't want to do that anymore. We want to mm-hmm. invest in memories and like making memories with each yeah. other and our family. And I was like, man, I there was a moment in time where we thought about maybe postponing our trip for Thanksgiving and all the things. And I think even this is just made so it's like, no, we're all going to go. We're going to prioritize this yeah, because... We just want to make sure we're making uh, uh, each other a priority. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it's so easy to get, like, caught up in life of, like, working events, life things that are going on, working maybe for promotion or, like, in my case, like, I'm working on another record or I'm doing this and, like, event after event. And it's just, like, you kind of just get in the rotation of life and then you look up. And I think that the craziest thing to me, like, at my age now is, like, looking up and seeing that, like, my man, like, so much of my family has aged and, like, it just looks so different. Um, And just making sure that I'm, I don't know, prioritizing the right things. Yeah. And it's not, like, I don't want to wake up and be like, man, I, I worked my life away or I just I was just got caught up in the wrong things or stressed out about, like, I don't know. It just puts, I think death has a beautiful way of putting things in perspective of like, man. It's so true. So grateful for the Lord because I don't know how people get through things like this without having. No idea. Like a blessed assurance because mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, man, I um, I genuinely don't know. But I was just kind of all of my thoughts over the weekend and just mm-hmm. all the things. And so, um. Yeah, I just want to say thank you for the prayers. And it is like the moment of like, do we, you don't know if it's like, oh, can we be happy right now? Or are we sad right now? Like, just yeah. the balance right. of like the grief cycles and things. And, and it's okay to feel all of that. I think one thing mm-hmm. that I've seen from you the last week is like, obviously, your beautiful strength, but also your vulnerability to feel everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's like scripture says, like, there's a time for everything. There's like, a time to weep and a time to laugh. And I think like this week has been the epitome of that, of like reflecting on a beautiful life Mm -hmm. and the whole family has like laughed their tails off. But it's also like moments of like, wow, this hurts. And it's like, I think feeling it isn't against what the Lord wants Mm -hmm. because he understands like you're going through something that is so painful, so confusing. And sometimes you got to confront that to grief. It's like five stages, right? And yeah. so, there's a yeah, that's something you do so well. And then, cl- thank you for saying that. I mean, uh, Ecclesiastes, when there's a time to weep and there's a time to mourn, there's a time to sow, and there's a, um, like all the different stages, basically, there is a time for everything. So, just giving 
maybe i i realized when i post that i had an influx of messages of people who are just kind of experiencing maybe similar things in their life and just know that we're praying for you guys and if you're experiencing loss or grief in any area of your life um you have space to to feel it and to go through it yeah and it is the combination of yes i know they're in a better place obviously i'm sad for their missing presence here but at the end of the day, it always goes back to, man, I'm so grateful that I have hope beyond this life. Mm-hmm. Um, and that I believe in life after death and uh, f- eternity with Jesus and all these things. But And it's such a beautiful thing because my whole family believes that too. So it hasn't been that like tension. Um, yeah. But yeah, so lots of family hoping to have some. Um, my sister is coming in um, and my brothers and everything. So hoping to do some sort of something with them <sighs> coming up this weekend and even possibly a podcast just talking about all the things. But so too soon to tell. But I love you guys so much. I would say the golden nugget today. Um, mm. Man, probably what I was just talking about. of Life is so, so short. Mm-hmm. This truly is like a blink of an eye. I think it's easy when you get caught up in the routine of life to lose sight of eternity. Yeah. And it really is like, man, I'm so grateful to have life beyond this. And the golden nugget would be um, make this time worth it and meaningful and don't sweat the small stuff. Like even if this week is just a reminder of like, man, is what I'm upset about right now, like actually in the course of life, I always think about like, the term of we're all one phone call from our knees of like Mm -hmm. when you get that diagnosis or when you find out about that family member, you realize that like the things that were actually bothering you, like actually don't matter at all. Yeah. And you're like, why was I even upset about that? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 100%. Yeah. It's like just to get, just to have that. So much in perspective. Having that perspective of like, man, there's so many more things that could be happening and just being grateful for even just like my family and the fact that they are even to able to be together and to love on each other and yeah. have the perspective of heaven. So, um, yeah, I don't know if that made sense, but it makes great. perfect sense. <sighs> we love you guys so much. We hope that this hour was encouraging and uplifting and don't forget to comment on the video. If you want to win a t-shirt, we'll give out a couple t-shirts so you can comment as many times as you want. We just do like a comment generate like it shuffles through them so every time you comment you get another entry so if you're listening to this on like apple Podcasts or anything like that you can go to our youtube channel and enter in as well just start commenting but we love you guys so much and we'll see you next week bye on the golden nugget podcast bye see y'all